Parts of New Zealand. Our special guest this morning, as you know, is the great Normie Rowe. And we've been talking all morning about the big announcement that Normie has to make. And it has a little bit to do with our next guest, Normie. <laughs> Introduce us to our celebrity <laughs> chef this morning. Everybody, this is Samantha Gowing, who is a... Um... <laughs> Samantha is a master chef. She got a master's from the uh, uh, Le Cordon Bleu <gasps> School in Paris. Oh my God, uh, that's the big one. That's, yeah, yeah. That is the big one in cooking, and uh, also a nutritionist and uh, a whole bunch of other things that uh, that have to do with health and food and nourishment. Fantastic. And Samantha and I are partners. Oh! Oh my goodie aunt. Oh my goodness! Isn't he a lucky man? In journalism, that's what we call burying the lead. This is your, this is, this is Normie, right? Um, now, Normie, um, all your fans will want to ask because they'll be shaken all over. Oh dear! Should they be hanging up their blue suede shoes? Is, is Sam the one? Or you, is this it for you now? I've learned a long time ago that you have to be very careful with people who use those for a less, for a, uh, a, a daily job. So, tool, you, you know. so you reckon you, it might be time to settle down? Well, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Depends now, if I'll have him. Now, what is that? Good point. Hey. Is Normie the one? That, there that's you the go. Point. You know those musical musician types. Now, um, <laughs> Sam, is, is Normie, what's Normie like in the kitchen? Is he he's all, a fantastic sous chef. Really? Oh, he's a wonderful cook and a very health conscious cook as well. So. I've always wondered, what does sous chef actually mean? I keep under. hearing people talking. Oh, under. Yeah, that's second, yeah, yeah. second, like second, that. second like in charge. Two I see. Um, yeah. And you've got two very special recipes for us today. Two super What's easy, summer friendly, hot day recipes. A little twist on a carpaccio using beetroot instead of beef, oh. which you're going to help me make. Oh my god! Yeah, and okay. Norma's going to help me make a kind of watermelon pizza, perfect for this stifling weather. Wow! So watermelon, watermelon as a base pizza. instead of bread or. And, Pizza dough. and we talked before about food making you feel better and yeah, fixing your brain yes. as well as your body. And, and you're yeah. using ingredients that boost serotonin yes. levels in the brain, which so is something I do not have enough of. So we talk a lot in the work I do in food as medicine about food and happiness as right. well. And the colour of food. And the healthy food doesn't have to be brown, which is, as you can see, there's a rainbow of ingredients here. Wow. It's always brown after I've finished with it. it nice. Oops. No, no, not in the, no, <laughs> when I'm burning it in the right, kitchen. Not the, oh, you disgusting. So we've got lots Joe, of nuts. Don't do lines. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just going to, yeah, God. Oh, so we've got nuts and seeds and lots of leafy greens, and they help to create uh, vitamin B3, vitamin B6, magnesium, and they're part of the pathways to the neurotransmitter, which is wow. serotonin. Wow, and serotonin is, of course, the neurotransmitter yeah. that makes you happy. Good mood food. Yeah. Else. Great. So now, is there easy. Um, the other thing I really want to know, is there a special way to open a pomegranate? Yes. Because this looks very, very complicated. I don't... It's not so I'm just seeing seeds exploding everywhere. So the trick me. is to cut the lid off with a little paring knife like that. Yeah. And then what you'll get is a little segmentation through there. And then you can just follow the seams. So, for example, let's take that bit away. Because you want to... cut the wanna... seams out there. See, there's a little way that the pomegranate right. naturally falls and then you can pretty much open it up like you would an apple or a wow. pear. If so you don't cut it all the way through, Sammy? No. But you can oh. then, of course, just squeeze the pips out or the seeds as well. And the, the beauty is in the skin. So the right. bioflavonoid and all that good vitamin C we talk about is actually in a bit of the pith as well, such as it is in citrus. And, and so you're eating all of it or are you chucking Not the seeds so much, away? just a little bit. Well, you want the seeds, of course, the juice. Right. But a little bit of the pith and left in. And you want a bit in. of the flesh as well. Yeah. So the seeds are the good bit and the other bit. You yeah, right. seeds are good. And a little bit of that pith because that's the membrane. Yeah. So what we're going to do yeah. is make a little macadamia oil dressing for the beetroot. Right. So you could put a little bit of maca oil. Maca Let's use that glass bowl and okay. whisk. Okay, yep, great. I'll so say when. Well done. Look at you go. Was That'll that do. when or well that's done? That's when. You didn't say when, you said when, well done. When, <laughs> okay. And then a little drop of rose water. So just rose water beats pomegranate all go beautifully so just like, together. Stop. Whoop. Well done. That's more than a drop. Okay, that's sorry. plenty. I'm, not, I'm really not very good and at this. And a pinch Where of salt. Where do you salt. get rose water? <clears throat> you can find that in many Middle Eastern grocers, at most markets and most delis okay. as well. Not too much, just a little splash. Right. There's some lovely smoked salt in there. It's that little so pinch of that. So give a pinch of that, Pop okay. I'll try and help. In. Yep. You can put another pinch another in, pinch so in. that there smoky flavour is going to balance there we go. the oil and the acidity from the and rose water. Is it true water. you're a cordon bleu chef? Is it true that whenever a chef adds salt, it has to be like this? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what, especially if you spill it. Gifted? Then there's a little bit of okay. lime juice. And, yeah, ready? I'll try this again. 
Look and with, you a, with a flair. Yeah, it's, got, it's all about the fantastic. flair, isn't it? All about the... Oh, now I've got two sous this? chefs. Okay. Can I start cutting, yes. cutting my And then you can whisk pizza? that with that lovely whisk Okay, there. whisk this one. Okay. And then from here, if you cut that into perhaps eights or sixths, whatever you Segments, think. Segments, yeah. So we're using the watermelon as a pizza base. Whoa, what? Yeah. I'm no scholar, but that sounds against Maybe God. Maybe into eights. It does, doesn't yeah. it? It's super healthy. Yeah. And then I've already prepped up a little bit of beetroot. I have to go around the end. By yeah. shaving it. Okay. And it's raw, but it's super thin. So, so the you, beets... So yeah. you're treating the beetroot as beef? Yeah. You so know that just because something starts with the same letter doesn't mean it's the same. And has about food. the same amount of ingredients. I know, but this is a little healthier. It, does, it looks a bit the same, doesn't it? It looks a bit the same, particularly if we make it super pretty. Pineapple And the pizza. rose water yeah. is going to help Pineapple. to balance that. Then we've got... I still can't. It's a watermelon pizza. That's just... So oh, he's going to add the prosciutto, prosciutto and some crumbled feta. Hang on, where are you putting on the prosciutto? That? On the watermelon. the watermelon. Yes. So you'd have prosciutto and cantaloupe or melon. This is oh, prosciutto with might. watermelon. Really? You're going to love this. Okay, You'll be right. loving yourself healthy with all oh, this. I already love myself. It's a... <laughs> yeah, okay, great. A <laughs> little bit more of the beets. Okay, so you can going. use the side of your box grater if you don't have one of these right. handheld super dangerous mandolins. So that's going that's that's yeah. going over the top of what you get there. That's so. going over the top here. Yeah. So I guess what you're telling me is the beat goes on. Well done. I like that. See, normally that was a musical game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Listen, little, were you up all night support. rehearsing that? A little support, you're holding yeah. your own here. Usually oh, she's the one with the gags. So and from here we're going to add your dressing that you're making okay. straight onto our little right. beet carpaccio. I've got some sliced onion. Nice. Optional. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is that feta that you are going to put on yes. the... Yes. So feta and watermelon. I've feta, just never heard of that before. watermelon, prosciutto, and then we've got this beautiful Black Betty Bam that I make, which is kind of like a plant-based right. smoky paste for life. So Norma's right. going to mix up a little bit of... Crumble that with this one here. Oh, sorry. And, um, this one's a bit more crumbly. Spoil your... And when you go home after the show, Sam, uh, is, this, is this going with you? Not in the hand luggage. Right. So it's not a whisk you're willing to take. Oh, 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 he's quite good, isn't he? He's very oh, good. He's very good. He's probably better than I am at this job. But... Yeah, I'm not, not very good at the guitar. <laughs> um, now, what about uh, okay. Black Betty Bam? Yeah. Oh, what on earth is that? So now, Black, Black Betty Bam is a plant sounds based... Sounds like one of your groupies, Normie. <laughs> 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 it's one, one of the best things I've ever discovered. Uh, what is actually, it? it's uh, a sesame paste, a plant-based paste ah. that we make. You can In dress your salad now, made out of sesame oh. seeds, tahini, apple cider vinegar, smoked salt that we've used a little bit of here. So I'm putting this. Oh, hang it on. can be used in all the same things as the one that so the Americans added. Orange go for it. Yeah. Right, just drizzle that on. over the top. Okay. Oh. Oh. Do. Look at that. And then that oh. can sit and marinate just for a little while. And then you've got this beautiful summer salad to share. A few little oh, edible that flowers. Is fantastic. Is this your, have you done this before, Norman? I've, I haven't done that salad. Wow. That's great. But I tell you what I do with, with Black Betty Bam. Yep. Uh, I, every morning, I have a bit, slice of toast with some Black Betty, some uh, vine ripened tomatoes sliced, yep. black pepper, a little bit of salt. Wow. And that with a, a nice coffee in the morning sets me wow. up for the whole day. Yeah. Mm. It's good to go. Good yeah, to go. I try to have a Black Betty Bam every morning as well, but sometimes yeah. my wife tells me she's just not in the mood. Not into it. <laughs> just... Yeah. So there's our little variation on a watermelon oh pizza. Oh, my God, that is amazing. And we've got some pepitas Fantastic. to add to our carpaccio, our super incredible. healthy. With your pumpkin big, seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Yeah. And well, then we've got some lovely macadamia nuts got to some finish mac... yours, so you could just crush this them under crush the knife. Them. Absolutely amazing. Normie, I'm going to give you the chance to try this for the first time in your wonderful relationship with this, your, your wonderful woman. Oh, my God, I think you should keep it. This is amazing. <laughs> um, I have to read this. For more information about Sam's classes, Cordon Bleu, mind you, and to buy her Black Betty Bam, go to her website, Food Health Wealth. <laughs> Com. Sam, thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. We're glad to meet you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. Um, there is so much more to come. We've got Jono's Friday flashback quiz is still ahead. I can hear him rehearsing in the background. <laughs> and it's all about the king. Uh huh. And next up, what you need to know about health trends this year. Starts with this. You're back in a tick. Bye. <laughs>